It was a show I did. It was the second or third Broadway show. It was called To Be or Not To Be. What kind of a question is that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and the audience took to this show like tuberculosis. <laughs> it was god awful. Who was in it with you? Denise Lore, Muddy Galati, <laughs> uh, uh, some Israeli people, and myself. And I told this story last night to Piper because they said, what's your worst experience ever on a stage? <laughs> And I had to jump on. I don't play the guitar, and I'm, I'm I don't I'm not dexterous that way. But they said, "Oh, you have to play just strum." And I had to come out and strum and jump on a box oh, and sing this song about the wolf and the lamb. And talk about not believing in the material, but you do your best. You know, you do your best. Opening night, I came running out on the stage at the Barbizon Plaza Theater, and I hit the box. The box went that way. The guitar went that way. The box came down on my head. I fell to the floor. I saw stars. I saw stars. So I'm trying to pull myself together and get through the song. The next day, in the New York Times, Clive Barnes wrote, We've all heard of a play within a play. Last night we saw a flop within a flop. <laughs> oh, it's a great one. Oh, it's it's fabulous. Oh. Oh. Marion Joseph, was that just... <laughs> oh! Mm -hmm. We do some stinkers, but I remember the first time I ever saw you on the stage. It was The Sound of Music. Oh, the music? You're not old enough. Yes, I am. <laughs> there were no swastikas in New York? Do you remember that? No, I don't. Did no you hear the story there were well, I know it was the last song that they ever wrote together. Yes. Well, the That's true. Story. The Edelweiss was. Edelweiss. Yeah. Well, but tell us the full story. <laughs> well, the, the, the story was that we were in Boston, and we had already been out for at least 10 weeks, if not more, in first in New Haven, then in Boston, and we were going to go into New York in 11 days. And uh, one fine day... You know, we were still futzing around with bits and pieces in the show, fixing this, fixing that. Uh, Rogers and Hammerstein decided that there was something lacking in the score. And it had to do with the fact that I was in the cast. <laughs> and could play the guitar. And could play the guitar. So they said, we got to write him something that, that he knows what to do. And, and so they re decided, why don't we write him a genuine old Austrian folk song. How do you write a genuine old Austrian song? <laughs> so they retired to, to a room at the Ritz-Carlton in Boston that had a piano in it, and they proceeded to write me this song. It sounded very genuine. And it was uh, the last thing that Oscar Hammerstein ever put lyrics to. He was very ill and died shortly after we opened on Broadway. It was Edelweiss, and the interesting thing about that was that this dying man who wrote his last lyric of his career, the very last word that he wrote was the word forever. Mm -hmm. That's my in the song. That's my homeland forever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they put the song into the show 11 days before the opening on Broadway, mm -hmm. which was literally written for me because nobody else could, they wouldn't have thought of it otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, Later, when they did the movie, uh, Plummer, of course, does not play the guitar, and, and they, they wanted to do the song or whatever, but they orchestrated it. It's a different, it has a different feeling to it. It was very simple. Well, and they took out a good song. They took well, out, one of the only good songs. Yeah, took I, out a I good hated song. that show. I also saw, I think that's the first time they, I saw The Ordinary Couple? Is that what yes. they took out? The Ordinary Couple. And right. then they wrote couple other things. Something yeah. good. Yeah, some, that's There's right. Something that. good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was interesting, you know, that we were on Broadway for two years. And uh, one day, uh, it was a hot day on the matinee, after the matinee, um, you know, I, I never liked to go out between shows. I stay in the, in the theater. And there were, uh, we had at least, what, 16 people who, who played nuns in the show and there were the nuns were outside the stage door and the stage manager said to them what the hell are you doing out there get your asses back in there and there were real nuns waiting to see the show they were waiting to see the show oh, no! 
<laughs> oh, that's right. That really happened. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get your asses back in that theater. What the hell do you think you're doing? We're paying the rosary before the matinee. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs>